So as China's economic growth slows a bit in the year ahead, what impact can countries like the United States expect? And how does the anti-China rhetoric from U.S. President Donald Trump factor in? Ralph Winnie joins me here live in Washington. He's director of the Eurasia Center's China program. Thank you so much for joining us. Glad to be here. Ralph, how important is Chinese investment? Uh, certainly, it's extremely important for the growth and development of both U.S. and China, especially for the growth and development of young entrepreneurs and the growth of small business between China and the United States. I think that's, that is what has made the U.S. so successful is the growth of small business and how it's impacted our economy. And the Chinese recognize how important uh, it is to develop and grow small business and uh, promote their entrepreneurial activity in their own country. You know, everyone is waiting to see what the Trump effect will be. How will he impact the relationship and what has already uh, taken place over the years? Well, I think his, his first visit to China is going to be key because he's going to sit down with the leadership and they're going to see um, how far he's going to be willing to go in terms of pushing the envelope. Uh, the idea of trade and investment is so important for a lot of U.S. multinational companies that Trump cannot afford to uh, let that go. At the same time, he's very concerned about increased protectionism um, for companies that are trying to enter the Chinese market and, and the valuation of the currency. All these issues will certainly be on the table when uh, Trump meets uh, with, with, with the president of China. U.S. direct investment in China now exceeds $74 billion per year. That's up $11 billion oh. from the year 2000. So what do U.S. investors like about doing business in China? It's the ability to engage uh, a, a whole new market share that they wouldn't have access to. Um, you know, China has uh, billions of people that w would be relatively untouched without the growth and development of U.S. Uh, companies penetrating the sectors. Certainly the um, investment package that the Chinese generated to uh, promote growth and development in the rural areas has been especially important. I mean, I used to work in Guangxi province and found that uh, Chinese FDI was extremely important in offering the province as an attractive investment opportunity for foreign companies to come in and do business, especially waiving corporate tax rates and other um, regulatory barriers in order to bring in foreign direct investment. I, I think you're going to see the Chinese recognize and they're going to have to do to reduce the regulatory barriers because that's been one of the issues in terms of bringing in more uh, foreign uh, business into China. Looking ahead at China's economy the upcoming year, we know that the new growth figure is 6.5%. Yeah. So what are some of the potential areas of growth that you see? Well, I'm very partial to the tourism and leisure industry, um, growing the Chinese domestic market. The Chinese government has been very uh, important. It's been very important for the Chinese government to encourage people to travel, take vacations, um, grow and develop the tourism and hospitality industry. It's uh, certainly an industry that is prevalent in the U.S. and has made our country very successful. Um, and it's something the Chinese recognize is important um, to move their country away from import-export and towards a more consumption-based economy. All right, Ralph Winnie, thank you so much for your insight. We appreciate it. Glad to be here. Ni zuo de fei chang hao.